Hello everybody, it's Hobbitses, and welcome to another Legends of Runeterra video. In today's video, we are going to be talking with another Masters player. His name is Sandtrap. He's like top 100 or something. Um, so it's going to be cool. We're going to talk about the tournament. We're going to maybe do some matches against each other, and it's going to be great. So that's what we're doing. Sweet. How's it going, man? Pretty good, pretty good. How's it going with you? Well, um, I'm trying. I've been thinking about my lineup stuff, and I I actually wanted to see. Would you be down? Do you want to try like a like a? Do you have a lineup ready? Like we could practice. Yeah. Would it be like tournament? Sure. Because I I made a lineup with you know I'm not used to these decks exactly, but I I just wanted to see what it'd be like. All right, all right, no problem. And if you, I am recording right now, so if you'd like to introduce yourself. Oh, uh, hi. I'm Sandtrap. I play card games. <laughs> he is currently has 305 LP. I don't know what rank that puts you in, but I'm assuming it's like, what, top one, 200, 100? Uh, I think I was 75th. Dang. Um, let me look, hold on. Yeah. Uh, right now it's seventy third. All right. Well, uh, I am joined by the seventy third highest ranked player in NA. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> yes, all the glory of top seventy three. Hey, top one hundred <laughs> is you know I'm only I'm top three hundred. I'm at two thirty one right now. Oh, not, you're right behind me. Yeah. I mean, not two thirty one LP. Two thirty one like place. I have oh, I have 179 LP, so a little ways behind you. Yeah, you're still you're still up there. Did you play in the last tournament? No, I had actually I had to quit when that celestial stuff came out, and then I came back in the same uh, that same time period, and I got the masters. But by the time I got the masters, it was like right at the, right at the end of the the season, so I didn't have a chance. I was just like masters, you know, zero LP. Gotcha. I didn't have a chance to qualify, but I did watch it, the, the NA and the European ones. I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, I, I liked them. I thought they were fun. I watched the NA one. I don't think I watched the European, but I participated in the NA one. Not that I made it anyway. I got the token from it, so I got the three wins. Oh, that was okay. good enough for me. Yeah, if you say that that's your goal and then that's what you get, then it's like mission accomplished. Exactly, you know? exactly. That's all yeah, I wanted. Yeah. Like, I just want to have something to show that, yes, I got into the tournament. And that's yes, what I exactly. Have. No, okay, so, yeah, you you hit your dream. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, let's see, see if lightning can strike twice now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, this is the first time I've done the lineup stuff, so it's, this is very, you know, I yeah. played a lot of card games, but none of them had the um, this, like, three-deck lineup situation. So I'm just... Still getting used to that kind of thing. Yeah, so it's um, uh, the tournaments also, or at least the the Swiss rounds are open deck. So if you yeah, want, I saw, yeah, yeah, crazy. I'm not used to that. No, at all. I'm not used to open deck either. It's it's honestly kind of annoying. But I I don't I don't like it. No, nah. like, <laughs> I'm with you there. If you, if you have like tech cards to like purposely just to throw off your opponent yeah that's what i'm saying i put like usually in my decks i'll put like one to two just tech cards that are like decent on its own but against certain matchups they're crazy but now people yeah. can, can play around them it's like that's no fun yeah that's uh i guess it's so why do they do that is it because they're worried that people like are scouting online and like recording people's de I, I don't i don't know maybe I don't I, i'm not really sure the the reasoning for it it's i don't know i know that's how it was like in traditional card games is they started doing like uh open deck lists because there'd be teams of people and mm -hmm. you know you just you'd have you could have your your friends or, or your teammates go to the top tables and starts just scouting what your opponents, you know, the people that you know are going to talk. You just go and look. Yeah. And see what you just watch and then take notes. And so I understand in, like, real life because of that, that scouting kind of problem. Because mm -hmm. I've, I've dealt with it and, it, yeah, it kind of sucks. But I mean, in, like, in other hard hard games, too, there's also sideboarding, right? Like, in Yu-Gi-Oh! and Magic, you can sideboard, which oh, makes yeah. it really helpful if you know what your opponent's playing. But in, 
you know, Runeterra, you can't. You're just, whatever you submit, that's what you're stuck with. Yeah. So I, I don't, like, I don't get it. I understand, I think Hearthstone does it, but um, I, I just, I'm not a fan. Yeah, uh, I'm with you there. And this is like, like, this is like some theory craft thing. I don't know if this is actually a good lineup at all or not. Okay. So. This is... Don't judge me, please. <laughs> I, I I will say I only have one meta deck in my lineup. Everything oh, okay. else is like a like a custom thing. Just because I'm more comfortable with um, not playing meta stuff. One, because I, I like making my own decks. And two, because I like having content on my channel that isn't all meta decks because that's boring to watch. So I make oh, a lot gotcha. of like, off meta stuff and that's what I play more so I'm more used to it. Are you like uh, what's that guy? Mogwai, right? Doesn't he? He he does that kind of. Yeah, Mogwai does a lot of. Man, if I can get to Mogwai's level, I have like thirty-five subscribers right now, which is cool. But Mogwai has like hundreds yeah. of thousands, you know. <laughs> yeah, everyone's got to start somewhere, man. Yeah. Um, I I've been playing TF Aphelios lately, but like this, I have not been playing with any of the. I just came up with this lineup earlier today, so oh, I was okay. like. Because I have uh, Draven, Ezreal, Swain. That that's the deck I use to rank up to like three three oh five. Oh nice. And then and then although no one likes the Swain, I like the people I talk to. They're like, I hate the one copy of Swain. I'm like, what? The, it's been <laughs> great. What? What's well, not so bad? It's been great for me. Wait, your deck runs this? one copy of Swain. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because I didn't I didn't like having three Ezreal. Okay. So I try to think of like what how else to use the um the sixth champion slot and when you know TF Fizz was getting real popular and they don't always have a three power unit to block the Swain with. And then just uh for my ratios, like I don't have five drops, you know, like it, there's yeah it's nice to have a big chunky unit just in the mid game to have. So Do it, you run I mean, any Leviathan and it levels up all the time. It levels up all the time because I use the same damage cards. Then when you have a, you know, the ballistic bot, you know, when it's when Swain is leveled and you have a ballistic bot, that's nice stun stuff. And I play the static shock too. You know, there's there's synergy there. Yeah. And... Oh, Draven Swain, no Ezreal. Yeah. Oh, okay. And how'd that go? I mean, not bad. I'm not a huge fan of the archetype in general. That was a little more fun to me, but... Uh... Yeah, I don't even know what the fuck is going on here. Uh, I have not played this matchup at all. I've played this matchup a couple times. It, It's not really favored either direction from my, from my experience. Well, what I'm thinking is like, okay, late game, you'll get Boat with Swain. And if I have Ruination to answer, then mm -hmm. I should be okay but you know that's oh shit it's my turn um but yeah again i haven't played this before so yeah let's see how let's see i want to see how much damage is put into my face like before um i mean well that's also very draw dependent and uh the draws are not favoring me getting early damage right now <laughs> Well, I am totally cool with that then. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> your Nivea deck always wants to wait it out. Yeah, I'm definitely fine with that. So should I should I catalyst here? I think I should. I think I, I mean, should. I think, I think I'm going. I have a Nivea, so I think you know I should just go ahead and do it. What do you think? Um, since I have the attack token and an open and like full mana, I think if you catalyst, you're opening yourself up to just a potential like it's kind of safe because i didn't play anything in the past so you can assume yeah. i don't have much but at the same time if you catalyst here you are leaving yourself pretty open i think yeah i mean i agree it's just i in my head surely you would have played a unit by now but we'll see we'll see oh, yeah. you can punish me punish me oh yeah i know and you are right like i don't have a unit to play oh. <laughs> so that you, you definitely made the <laughs> The best move based on that. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> uh, go Anivia, my little baby. I'm just glad to have drawn Anivia. You know, like when I played that, I played this deck to Masters the very first season, I think, and that was like an issue. Was like, oh, um, 
Am I gonna lose because I just didn't get this Anivia or what? Yeah. Which you know can feel pretty bad. Yeah, I, I saw you run a few copies of Entreat in there. That helps a lot. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's a. Uh... Oh, that's not nice. <laughs> Yeah, you want to attack with the egg? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll take that attack if you want to. Like. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you will. Uh, let's see. What do I want to do here? I will take this. Oh, yeah. In the face. <laughs> That's what daddy likes. Uh, oh, no. Healing. That's terrible. Oh, how dare I run... Healing. Yeah. The hell, I'm man. Yeah, I'm such an asshole. Um, let's see. Um, I guess just do this. All right. And I wait. Sounds like a plan. This is super engaging gameplay right here. Riveting. Absolutely riveting. Rivet. Riveting indeed. Now you have too much mana though, so now I have to like play around Ruination. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, yeah. You know, it's like, nine, nine mana, okay. Yeah, what, what do I do with that? Yeah. Whoa, why are you playing Avalanche? I'm the one playing Avalanche. <laughs> you, you can double up on it afterwards. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, good. Okay, let me try. You might have a response to this, but. I mean, maybe. I won't know unless you try. Oh. We'll try this. We'll see what you do. Dun dun dun. Yeah, sure. No! <laughs> My baby! I figure making you draw cards is probably not the most beneficial thing for me. Probably not optimal. Yeah. But now, I get to do this! Dang. Oh, I'm gonna do this. What a meanie head. After the back of the ah. Upgraded swing. Yay! Yeah. That's that a wild. Well, I am still attacking you. That's so rude. You know, I thought we were buddies. I thought we were pals. And here you go, just attacking me willy nilly. Oh, yeah. Um, that's rude. That's even <laughs> more rude than... Let's see. Oof. Get that Nivea out of here. You got too many of those. Yeah, I know, I know. Just put him, put him down to size. Um... What should I do? Because I'm about to face an open attack, which... That would I'm probably not... be my most optimal play, because that plays around you having Ruination. Yep. Yep. It does indeed. And considering you played the second Anivia and didn't have, like, a summon effect for it, I can be reasonably certain that you don't have a uh, Harsh Winds in hand. Unless you have the third Anivia, but if you have three Anivias in your 15 cards of your deck, <laughs> it <laughs> yeah, is what it like, is. Must be nice. Yeah. Um. Let's try... Let's see. Uh, the only thing like I'm worried about on this open attack is like you vengeancing my swing. Yeah, I don't have vengeance, unfortunately. I'm gonna I like and this this feels bad right here. I don't like this play at all. But I feel like I wow. have to. Yeah, that's... it's really it's really bad. That's a little unfortunate. Yeah, because it's like you could just yeah, exactly. Yeah, I was like, oh, Vengeance would be pretty sweet here. Oh, no, never mind. Now, what else are you playing here for? Okay, so, all right, all right. Yeah, I, I respect the avalanche afterwards. And you know what? Since it doesn't matter that much, I'm just going to play more tempo. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. 
Let's see, we'll take this. Oh, oh, the healing. All right, well, I bet you didn't see this coming. The 2-1? Oh, He's crazy, dude. Thick. Um, we'll do that. Oh. All right, we'll do that. Yeah, that seems pretty solid. Yeah, a little bit. All right, and then... End my turn. Wow, just the, the pass. I mean, I can definitely get behind that pass. Now, I, I really hate that I have to keep open attacking. Like, I'd love to develop further, but I really do just need to open attack against you. Yeah, I mean... They would be in your best interest, I suppose. Yeah. Although, I gotta say, this hand is not great for me. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. We'll keep it going. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, I have two... I mean, if you if you watch my video afterwards, you can see I have two dead cards in my hand for this matchup that do literally nothing. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> Seems better than what I'm dealing with here. All right, let's see. What's this card that you're throwing out here? Is it another grass? A gluttony. <laughs> this is how bad it is. All right, well, I guess I'll just go for lethal then. Um, we... oh, this is Got like feel... a... Uh... What's that card? The one that does one damage, heals you for three? The one Ooh, that... Which one? I was talking... Oh, whale. That's what it is. If you had a whale. Or a catalyst. Oh, yeah. Anything that yeah, heals I have you, really. To, I, have to use, I have to use both. Yeah, okay. Whale and catalyst. So that's what your hand was. Interesting. Yeah, not not so great, not so great. But hey, you know, I'll take a harrowing. Harrowing would be pretty nice oh. for you. Oh, just an, another avalanche. Well, <laughs> <laughs> perfect, well, that, perfect. That's a dub or a, a L. <laughs> all right, all right. So now you did you have a ruination in your hand? No. Ah, I had no ruination, no harrowing. Just I had basically had the two uh, Nivias and not even Rekindler. Um, just two Nivia and removal. Wow, that's a very unfortunate draw, honestly. <laughs> yeah, well that happens. Okay, yeah, so I have two I... scorched earth in my hand, and the scorched earth is such a dead card in that. Oh my god! It's yes. like, what do I hit with it? Nothing. Yeah. So it does the loser. Does the loser have to stay in the same deck, or can they also switch? So you can switch, but you need... So in order to, like, pass on, you need to win with both of your decks. Yes, yes. Okay, I, di I didn't know you could actually switch, though, so that's yep. kind of cool. Yeah. yeah, so if you want to play well, something else here, you can. Oh, I'll just... I'll, I guess... Do but most I, people I have just... to play my other deck. Okay. Do most people just keep the same deck, and then... Um... Yeah, from... Yeah, most people just keep playing the same one through because okay. it, it's i don't know from to the way i look at it from like a game theory kind of view they know what's in like even though i already know what's in your deck they know how you play that deck and so you're using they're not really gaining much more information about how you play but you're gaining information about how they play this new deck and so then you can kind of have the upper hand in the last match Mm, okay. I sometimes wish I was Twitch streaming just so I could like have moments like this where I don't really know what to keep in my hand and just go chat. Should I keep it? But <laughs> you know, I can say that, but no one's gonna answer. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this sad realization. <laughs> Facts of life. Oh. I used to have a Yu-Gi-Oh channel back in the day. Oh yeah, you're a big Yu-Gi-Oh player. Yeah, I played when uh, since the game first came out, and you know, I you know I, I did well, and I liked you know like you you know creating you know unique decks, and you know mm -hmm. uh, got 
you know popular or whatever from that and you know that ended up being pretty cool because i got the i got to go around to a lot of tournaments and do articles you know that kind of stuff nice it was a good experience sounds fun yeah. why'd yeah. you uh, stop doing that uh because uh, see the for like formats in Yu-Gi-Oh are kind of like you could have some really like just really bad formats where it's just like oh it's Magical Scientist OTK or Frog FTK or you know just really stuff where you could lose without even playing cards. So mm-hmm. I wasn't quite a big fan of that. So I just didn't play those during those times. And then after after 2012. Like, I remember, I got, it was 2,000 people or so at, uh, in the 2011 U.S. Nationals, and I finished first after Swiss, which is, like, wow. I'm fucking stoked. With a deck, I was the only one running that deck, too, which is all, like, you can just, like, I had to be careful walking, because my boner was just, like, just <laughs> out constantly. But, but then I lost in top 64 to someone who had, like, I was undefeated and some guy who, like, X2 or X3 with, like, gross tiebreakers. It's like, oh, well, that's it. Dang. And, then after, and then after that, I think the, the format got a little crazy and I wasn't a big fan of it. So I was like, all right, I'm out. Gotcha. Why you gotta be aggressive? Look, I'm just playing what the egghead researcher gave me, dude. He's yeah, like, I'm here's like, a four what? drop dragon, and I'm like, you know what? I can't really say no to that. Yeah, I mean, that's on curve. I mean, yeah, that's exactly. Fine. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> it's fine. Totally fine. Um, well, I'm gonna do Vengeance this. Vengeance the Ophelios, so. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Now, you guys, all your guys are really cold. Yeah, they're, they're pretty chilly. I mean, Aphelios yeah. is probably dead from a vile feast in your hand, but... What? That's... <laughs> what? What? Oh, that's crazy, huh? That's... What? That's... No. You mean like that's this vile feast? Yeah, no, that's... I don't know what you're talking about. That's craziness. Five damage. Haha. <laughs> um... Hmm... I guess we do this. Welcome to the tipsy Never a bad play. Yeah, it seems okay. I gotta say, it's been a while since I played Anivia, but just like seeing how the deck is playing, I'm I <laughs> I'm not enjoying it right now. <laughs> I'm like I I in my head I'm like, man, I can be playing Draven Ezreal Swain right now, and I'm not. That's, that's because... true. It's very true. Mm. More egg heads. We want to research even more eggs. Yeah, I see that. Very into your research. Oh, yeah. Um, what should I do here? I don't... You know, that, you know that's another thing, because I'm on the phone, so it's like, when I'm in the tournament, I can't, like, reference the decks or whatever. That's true. Or, or... I got a two-monitor setup going, so, like, I what I did last tournament is... Because like we're showing their their decks, you can look at their decks for like three minutes beforehand. So I took screenshots uh-huh. of their decks and I put it on my second screen. So uh-huh. just whenever I was facing them, I was like, ah, I know there's, I can just reference exactly what's in your deck. Okay, well I might have to do something like that because I don't want to just be at like such a huge disadvantage, you know? Like yeah. I gotta figure out something. Well, that's rude. <laughs> you have another vile feast? No, uh, I'm gonna have to whale this, I think. Oh, that's that's rude too. I'm not a fan of that. I don't want this guy to be like growing constantly. Can I kill my big boy dragon? No. Yeah, this... No, not the dragon the... will live. Not the dreaded. 4-4 four, four dragon is growing. Well, now he's going to be a 5-3 dragon. Crazy. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a big boy. Yeah. It's getting getting chonky. You know what's crazy? is like, okay, so you played Solari Priestess, and I'm assuming you got Comet. And so it's like, okay, this deck plays like 
the gluttony card and then the um oh my god i can't even remember the draw two one yeah so it's like okay i want to play nivia but if i don't have one of those cards and i'm very suspicious and thinking that you got um the card that i think you got i'm stuck i can't <laughs> i can't play my anivia then i mean pretty much and something else to think about too in playing as like target decks in general is that it they can hush your anivia and gluttony fizzles yeah that would that would suck which i mean it's not terrible right because it's basically just trading hush for gluttony well at least in that situation i still have it in the graveyard you know it's like okay yeah. i still have an anivia like that i can bring back with harrowing I'm gonna just grab my sleeping bag and uh <laughs> You're gonna take a nap while I <laughs> yeah. take a quick power nap here. Yeah. I got lots um, of options. I gotta remember the mind games too. Oh no, it's not you. It's good like the fact that I'm playing an Anivia deck. Oh okay. Like it's just Anivia is just gonna be slow, you know. Oh yeah, Anivia is very slow. I'm I'm prepared to like have a nice hot cup of tea with me during the tournament. Yeah, just... for sure. Just chilling. Exactly. Okay, alright, alright, we can do this. Okay, so there, there's the Anivia, which is fine. Your mom is fine. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I said that, yeah. Deal with it. I, I will. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'll make sure to tell her. Yeah, you tell her, yeah. That's <laughs> right, I guess. I don't know where I'm going with this. Uh, um... Maybe okay, I should have dragoned. I don't know. Because you played Anivia, so I guess I could have commented, but if I comment there, then if you have a Gluttony or the other card that I also can't remember that. Glimpse Beyond. Then yeah, you just, Glimpse like, Beyond. Then you just you counter go. it, right? And I don't know. It feels kind of bad to just get like a six mana card co like, countered. But I guess yeah, this is fine. Kind of feels bad if that were to happen. You can get bigger dragons, I guess. Bigger! Bam, bam! Little bits of damage. Little bits all up in my grill. Well, this is gonna be very bad for me. Uh. <laughs> so that is now an upgraded Anivia. Yeah, that's the plan. Uh. Unless. Unless you have like a, I don't, I don't know if you had a single combat in your list or not. I, I couldn't, I like. Yeah, I do have, <laughs> I do have single combat in the list, so that would help me here. Sadly, I don't have it. In Excellent. That'd be great, though. I'd love that. I guess I could pass. Ouch. Anivia, go! Anivia, go! <laughs> like um, a Pokemon. Yeah, right? It right, reminds me of Articuno. I can see that. Huh? Uh, yeah, it's it basically is Articuno. So I can go like this. I want to go like that. I don't um, care about the, the little, the one attack dudes. Like, they don't matter at all. You can kill them all you want. Alright. Ooh, a whale. That's that's rude. You know, I'm just gonna say it. That's rude. <laughs> we'll still keep the dragon alive, though. All right, that's fair. Oh, I guess I could have kept the failure alive too. Yeah, it was. Well, I was. Uh, that's why I was thinking. I'm like, well, all right. He want. He doesn't want his failures. Fine. Oh, that takes so much damage in the booty. <laughs> in my sweet, sweet booty. Oh, does he have the Bastion? Yep. Yeah. Does he have the Vile? Well, not Vile, but it'll it'll get the job done. Uh, a whale. Uh, I got this. Stu I don't like this grasp at all. My goodness, I actually really don't like grasp. In the deck in so general, or just like right now? Well, like 
I'm questioning it if I because I'm questioning its usefulness in here because a lot of like TF Aphelios, so I'm never gonna grasp something. You know, it's just gonna get pumped or vigored or uh, pale cascaded. I guess TF or... Aphelios, sure, but against TF Fizz, you have an automatic kill on TF. Like he only has, yeah. only have one card in their deck that can stop it dying from grasp. You know, I think the part I don't like is it feels bad having to be in that position in the first place. This like, hmm. Think, and I'm trying to think. What should I? Running out of time. Oh wow, I'm like running out of time. Sorry. Oh, the harsh winds. Interesting. Interesting. I also find it interesting you didn't, knowing that I got the final spark, you didn't choose to. Uh... Harsh wins the one attacking Anivia. Because I have heroin. Gotcha. Oh, well, maybe maybe I should have just still, you know, um, what's it called? Um, still went to protect it anyways. Hey, maybe. Like, would I rather be at nine with my Nivea up? I mean, probably. Probably would be better, but. Hmm. Guess we'll see what ends up happening when I play this harrowing. I think, what, you get two Nivea's back, if I'm not mistaken? You get oh, two and an egg. egg, yeah. Okay. Not the not the best, but not nice. Yeah, we'll stop a little bit of damage at least. <laughs> nah, come on. That's, I mean, the egg doesn't matter, right? It dies <laughs> so before it revives. So you could attack with it. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Are you sacking your fuels? Oh, well, that makes more sense. Yeah, there we go. All right. Let's see what happens. My poor baby Anivia. <laughs> Virtue guides me. Mm. Let's see. Two out of four. I, uh, man, I forgot to check how many silence um, things uh, you have. I run two, Hush. Okay, okay. Well... Now, if you have a second harrowing, if you have a harrowing on your next turn, I basically just lose. <laughs> like, there is no way I can get her out. Like, I just barely managed to get through the first harrowing. Second harrowing would be crazy. Um, I'm gonna use the back. Let's see. We will do. I will endure. Okay. I don't know if I like that that much though. Makes my butthole tingle. <laughs> see, I see. This is what I hate about grasp. Is like, you just hope that they don't have some kind of buff when that when you know the deck plays buffs it's like yeah well, when am i supposed to do the this three thing? damage doesn't really feel that great i i agree with you there so i don't know i gotta i mean that being said it works because <laughs> i have used oh, a lot of my buffs previously but it worked this time i suppose it did, it did. so I'll just do that to get harsh wins uh. What I 
really need is... I don't even know what I really need here. That It's not that. It's definitely not that. <laughs> oh, I need it. Roar! No, no. Tough is really nice, though. Oh, yeah, for sure. Remember when she was a uh, pre buff? Oh, yeah. The like five. Pre, pre nerf, pre nerf. The 5 5? Yeah. That was pretty nice. It wasn't even seen that, like, it, it was seen play, but not, like, an absurd, you know, ridiculous amount of play. Yeah. Oh, there's a temple. It took long enough for it to come through. Yeah, for sure. That's one of the cards I was worried about in this matchup. Yeah, would have helped that earlier, but... Yeah, you got me. Man, I really don't... I'm going to have to take out the grasp if, if I even bother playing this at all. I, I, think, I, wanna... I think the Anivia deck is solid. Yeah, just and it's not like you know. I have a lot of games on it. It's just you know, it's it's been like I don't know, a little bit. But this is the first deck I went to Masters with. But I, I don't. Ugh. I just you know, the, before there weren't like like veiled temples and vigors and right. pale cascades and that kind of thing. Um, and I don't even think I don't even think Hush was around at that time. Now I think about it. Um. Okay, so I picked the you banned the Ionia version. Yep. So I'm, okay, okay. This is the first time I'm playing this particular deck. I have no idea. Oh really? If it's actually like even playable or not. Hmm. Oh, I might just get rolled, you know, completely, and then it just be like, what the fuck were you thinking? But uh, I mean, I forget what's in your list already, so that's fine. It's a field of rush, you know, kind of deck. Targon for Elyord ramp to feel the rush. Yeah. You don't run Targon's Peak, though. No, because I have self-respect. <laughs> that's, that's, that's fair. I, yeah. I'd, rather, I'd rather just not play the game than play something like Targon's Peak. <laughs> oh, poor Targon's Peak. No. No Man, one you likes know, like, it. Even... You know that that they made that Heimerdinger card too. It's just like, bro, what are you guys doing? Just the, yeah, like the, the Heimerdinger. The, that Heimer, um, oh, that landmark was Piltover University. Yeah, yeah, that that, that card was of, so bad. It's just like, guys, stop. Just please, I, I not. No one wants this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, why would you even? I don't want this game to become Hearthstone. That's what you're turning it into. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's actually one of the reasons. Like, I had a, I didn't have the best mentality when, I, uh, when the Celestial stuff came out, especially when I realized that, like, it's not like Twisted Fate where you just get the same range every time and you just pick one. It's, no, oh, well, you might just happen to get Comet. Ha ha. You know. Yeah. It's like that felt really bad so i i my mentality was just like well this is fucking bullshit i'm leaving and then later i was like well i like card games and if my <laughs> atti if my attitude is just about playing as well with the as i can with the tools that are provided then maybe yeah. i won't care if they sacked into a fucking comet for the third time in a row if, yeah this is totally if fine. they just play a bunch of random bullshit yeah exactly yeah, it's totally okay. Yeah, yeah. I will go to bed knowing that I did my best. And that's what's important. <laughs> oh, <it> sounds <laughs> so so cheesy. I'll take that pass into temple. Speaking of invoking, things. Well, I will put a big beefy boy out. No, not the beefy boy. 
<laughs> yeah, you like that ass? Uh, yeah. It's scary. Yeah. yeah. It's thick. Oh yes. Thick boy. Thick. Um, you know, and another thing that made me worried about this lineup is like, okay, even if I resolve Field of Rush, there's still like a lot of decks are playing the uh, what's that Moonlit? Um, Moonlit Affliction. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they're playing that card. It's like, dude, dude, it could easily go south for me. You know, in that yeah. kind of situation. So, I don't know. I've been kind of like, hmm, is this really what I want? I don't know. Oh shit! I just realized. What I did. <laughs> Oh wait, uh, okay, so I, I thought I just killed my 3-3 three, three to a 2-1, but then I realized that 2-1's gonna get traded off anyway, so... Yep. Yes, I have played perfectly. Yeah, there was did. not a misplay you at did, all. You did it, you did great. Yep, that's... I meant to do that. <laughs> I knew all that, yes. And now I can never attack my Kinley Tavern Keeper with Tartaz ever again. Nope. Oh, uh, is this the make the fangs my win condition? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it might be. Oh, shit. Has potential. I mean, it's a 4 That's... 5 at lifesteal. That's not bad. Yeah, that's not, that's not bad. That's not bad. Um. Man, that feeling when you get stuck with multiple guiding touch and not a good thing to heal feels bad. I feel like I'm not progressing. Is this fine? I feel like it's okay. I mean, I don't. I, I'm gonna, this is gonna get bad if I don't hurry up and do something. But temple. <laughs> I mean, I think I just... Do I just do this? Just to, nah. Oh, finally. Alright. Well, that's a Lux. A champion. Crazy. A crazy concept, drawing your champions. Yeah, that is, that is bonkers stuff <laughs> right there. It's... 10 out of 10 would recommend drawing champions. Yeah, I approve. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, what do I do with these champions? You... The real question... You breed them. Breed for me. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Don't wanna... Let's see. I wish I remembered what your deck had, but I don't remember. So, we're just gonna um... attack with this. Yes, now I can feel better about using my Guiding Touch. When I'm actually healing real meaningful damage. Yeah. Excellent. Or do I just want to do this? Do I do that? And then heal the damage after? I guess so. Yeah, sure. Yeah. That's what I want. Yeah. But is it? And now I feel better about myself. I'm, I'm happy for you. Thank you. I did. I need. I needed this. <laughs> Super exciting gameplay here. Oh yeah, it's very exciting. My four, five, and five, six can steer four to three units. We played like four cards each. This is great. <laughs> yeah, this is peak legal. You know, um, legends of Terra gameplay. <laughs> yep, this is. <laughs> this is what it's all about. Now, <laughs> well, since the first Fangs was such a hit, how about, like, a second one? Sounds divine. What a beautiful play you've made. Thank you, thank you. And you've played a gopher as well. Yeah! <laughs> I think it's an otter. It's a well, yeah, okay. It's totally an it's otter. A, yeah, it's totally an otter, yes. Fair point, good sir. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> I'm like, is it twelve mana yet? No, oh, we're, no. Oh, what do I do then? 
Yeah. All right, I'm just I'm getting bored of this whole waiting game thing. We're just gonna go for it. Oh, what a rude, rudy tooty head. That's the first time I've been called that. Yeah, well, how's it feel? Pretty bad, huh? <laughs> yeah, I mean a little bad. Yeah, well, take take that. Well, now I got an upgrade Lux, so I. I have a problem with Lux's upgrade and the fact that it literally does nothing but give her plus one plus one. Like, I mean... it, her her normal thing is cat, play six mana worth of spells, get a final spark. When you upgrade, it's play six mana worth of spells, get a final spark. Like, she doesn't get anything new. Yeah, that is kind of lame, I guess. I mean, I understand where you're coming from. It can at least make the final sparks, like, do another damage or something. Your mom can do another damage. Oh, Whoa, wow. Bam. Un uncalled for. Wow. No. Just... <laughs> I'm such a jerk. Um... Will that take the chill off, though? Will it, Mr. Tavern Keeper? Uh, probably not. You, you best be prepared for this open attack next turn. Gonna be a yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. I'm like, do I just need to play like tavern keepers so that I can stay nice and beefy or yeah, whatever? But now you hit that that crazy twelve mana. Yes, indeed. The fabled. I guess I shouldn't have attacked with the three two. Eh, it's fine. I don't care that much. Um, uh, I don't even know what I'm supposed to hit here. Really. I mean, you probably should block nothing and take 17 damage. No? No, this is not a taker? That... That did cross my mind there for a second. So, I guess I'm supposed to play Feel the Rush? I mean, that's normally what a Feel the Rush deck does. I'm not saying you have to, but, like, it is a Feel the Rush deck thing. Yeah, hey, look at that. So. Feel the Rush. That's crazy. A Feel the Rush deck played Feel the Rush. I understand it. Yeah. Well, that's the first time I actually noticed that, like, Ari's name, like, appears, um, like, handwritten on mm -hmm. the side. That's kind of cute. That's adorable. Hey, you can pop my spell shield. Woo! Pop the shield. Pop the shield. Well, at least I got... Yeah, I mean, you paid 12 mana to get your 10-10 Acel -10 app. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. I'd say moderately worth. Yeah. Am I going to mill? No, I'm not. No, yes, I am. Yeah, you mill one card. Fuck! Oh, no! Ooh. I card! Nice. I'll, take, I'll take that mill all day. That ravaged my booty hole. That was not. That was not pleasant for me. Now, it is a little scary, because I don't, you know, that, that card you got from Aesol could be a pretty beefy card. Yeah, it could be, but it also could not be. I guess that's fair. <laughs> um, so do I, I, mean, I, don't, I don't swing with this. I think I just, I have to do something so that I don't just mill myself to death here. It's probably a good call. Probably. But I think I have to. I think I should attack. Let's just attack. Let's just see what happens. What's life without yeah. a little risk? Just go for it. Yeah, right. No, I changed my mind. Oh, well. Giant freaking dragon. That is a giant freaking dragon. Okay. Glad we had this talk. Mm hmm, mm hmm. So I still need to see what do I want to do here. Now you want to attack. <laughs> um, I don't know about all I mean, that. Really Just... I mean, you you have one more health than Karagrin has attack, so it's totally worth it. That is a true valid point. Ah, healing. That's rude. Who heals? It's my tech. My tech heal. 
nothing escapes my watch. Okay, at least I don't burn the card this time. My goodness. Oh, that's a card. Oh shit! Coming in, boys. We coming in. We coming in hot. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's we'll see. I feel like I should not put my dragon at too great of a risk. Uh, you totally should. I don't know what you're talking about. Is this fun? Just leaving it like this? I think it's okay. You can only take seven. It's not so bad. Oh. God! What the actual? I actually fucking forgot that. Wait, that's actually that's all three turnimeters. Wait, that's wait, wait, wait. So if I feel the rush now, only it only gets I, I cannot believe how unfortunate that was. Oh my god! I've never actually like that's absurd. <laughs> what? That's crazy. That is crazy. I, but that's my fault because I'm I'm just kind of like sitting here like waiting. Like, okay, yeah, play this, play this. I didn't really realize that when I blocked the sentry that I'm gonna be um, drawing. Like, I could have just played the card in my hand and freed it up. Yeah. But Jesus Christ, what is that? The chance, though. What are you doing? You're, you're, you're being a meanie head here. Hold on. Got a big dragon. Oh no! I've been moonlit. That's rude. I'm still mentally just destroyed at what happened. I, my brain cannot register. I'm gonna go cry after this. <laughs> Nah, you're crazy. fine. You got this, dude. I have, I have all three field of rush. Like, like I have two left in my hand, and now Ooh. it's like, it's like, wait, I, it's literally twelve mana for another asshole. Yeah, that's not fantastic. It's not the best thing. Not the best thing. So that's a little annoying. I guess you could just. I mean, that's, that's pretty good, I guess. But we're gonna say no to that, because that's like six damage with Overwhelm. That's annoying. Yeah. Ooh. It's a bird. That is a bird. It is indeed a bird. You are. Correct. You are absolutely correct. Thank you, thank you. Um, sure, super full health Nexus. You've never seen a Nexus with so much health. I never have, indeed. Oh, you remember that guiding touch I flew threw away? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, kind of miss it right now. That would have been helpful. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay, if it, this is hot, okay, I give up. Because <laughs> uh, that that was like a tilt attack right there. Because I can't, I just couldn't believe the whole Trinomir thing. Um, yeah, that's that's fair. It was very unfortunate that the two cards you milled are both Trinomir. Like, what yeah, are the odds of that? Yeah. Okay, I think I'm dead. Well, that was a good game though. Yeah. Hmm. So, I didn't feel like I got a significant advantage by using my lineup like this. Um, okay, well that, that game wasn't luck, cause like, if you had Trindamir and you could pull out, and you, like you put out that second Field of Rush, like I only have one of those, uh, Targon laser cards, whatever that was called, the Daybreak card. So yeah. if you put out the second field of rush and had another, you know, Trinomir 
and the second a soul like i i literally would just lost at that point there's i could have survived for a couple turns because i like hushed trindamir but you would have just outvalued me valued me with a souls level up and definitely would have just won so that was just so more I so unfortunate thanks for talking to me thanks for playing with me yeah for sure man thanks for the games and uh yeah. hopefully we can play again yep and uh hopefully i don't play you in the tournament <laughs> oh, oh, if I play this lineup, you you probably want to. <laughs> That's true. Uh, all right, take care. All right, man. catch you later. All right, bye. All right, everyone. That was um, my games with Sandtrap for the top 100 Masters player. Hope you all enjoyed. Hope you learned a thing or two, or maybe you didn't learn a thing or two. You're just tired of hearing me speak for a moment because it's been a while. So I'll leave it off here. Thank you, everyone, and peace out.